In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the lessons that is inside my flagship improvisation program called Nail the Changes. Nail the Changes is a end-to-end -end system about how to improvise over chord changes and harmony, especially jazz harmony, and do it accurately and do it confidently. If you wanna learn more about the course Nail the Changes, there's a link in the top of the description, or you can go to my website, soundguitarlessons.com. In this program, because it is truly a thorough, from the ground up, everything you need kind of program, I demonstrate every exercise and a lot of the drills are uh, very, very thorough and there's a certain premise for how to get the result that we want that this is what worked for me in my improvisation, so I'm sharing it with everyone in the course now and sharing this element of it with you, where if we improvise in one section on the guitar and we work through the circle of fourths in that way and we outline chord tones in that way, then we cover all the physical shapes and all the physical um, and kind of structures that we need to see and navigate around. This is what allows us to play over any harmony and all over the neck. So in this video, I just wanna share with you one of the exercises going through the circle of fourths in that way for outlining different types of chords. I have videos demonstrating every chord type in this way, and this video is just demonstrating the minor seven chord. It sounds pretty cool even just as an exercise, but you'll see it is very drill-like, and uh, this is what I find gets the results that I need to then take and then have the vocabulary to be super creative with. So I wanted to share it with you here. I think you'll find it um, interesting and valuable, and if you wanna take that exercise and give it a shot for yourself, you should have what you need from this video. It is part of my course, so if I mention anything about previous material or things coming up, it's because it's part of the course. However, I wanna share it with you anyway because I think you'll find it helpful just totally on its own. So here's the video. Okay, minor seven. Dominant seven and minor seven are fun because they sound very musical just going through the circle of fourths because it's very common that there will be a cycle of dominant seventh chords or a cycle of minor seven chords for a bit that exists in a lot of real chord progressions and they just sound quite um, consonant together. It's not odd sounding. Major seven a bunch in a row, kind of odd sounding, but uh, minor seven really kind of neutral and pleasant sounding. Dominant seven sounds like a real chord progression. Let's do minor seven, same tempo, 110. Here we go. One, two, three, four. minor seven. I think it might be nice to count off when I do it just in case you ever want to try to play along with me. I'll start counting off at the beginning like that. I do want to say um, a note about just the first fingering. I really like say on C minor seven the shape. I really like hopping over to the third finger on that third string and then using pinky tip and then first finger that's the flat seven and then any finger here on the top note, but that, that little grouping there feels quite nice, but you absolutely can roll with the pinky as well. Just a little fingering note, but that's minor seven. Let's go on to the next video. 
I hope you found that helpful and inspiring totally on its own. If you do want to learn more about Nail the Changes, my course, you can click on the link in the top of the description or go to soundguitarlessons.com. I also am putting together a playlist of a series of a few of the videos from the program. So there are more of them. There's a link in the description to go to a playlist where those are all together in one place. If you want to check those out, please do. Thanks so much for watching and happy practicing.